Hi guys, this is Nicole with Intimate Wisdom. So I know I'm looking like checking by head. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's get this reading on way. This reading will be for the Aquarius monthly um, read for November 2017. What messages do we have for Aquarius November 2017? Any messages for Aquarius? Okay, some of you guys are definitely, definitely, definitely needing to embrace change. Needing to understand that things are getting better, okay? All right, so what do we have for Aquarius? Let's shuffle these for real good one time. Aquarius, November 2017. Aquarius, November 2017. Aquarius. Definitely getting out. I got that card. Well, not that exact card, but the same card, same information twice. Some of you guys are definitely coming out of a difficult situation. And maybe you don't realize it yet that you're getting out of a difficult situation. So there's a need for you to kind of realize it. <laughs> Realize it and expect things to get better now. Your theme of the month is balance. You got the four of wands. This can represent balance within your home life, stability. Um, this can also represent um, planning something. So maybe you guys are planning some type of project or something this month. All right, so let's go ahead and pull underlying energy, the seven of swords. This represents plans that need to be revised. Maybe there's some um, emotional baggage or something you need to leave behind. This could be someone being deceptive as well this month. All right, so let's see what. Let's pull a clarification. We need clarification for Aquarius. November 2017. Clarification for Aquarius. November 2017. Clarification for Aquarius, November 2017. Okay. Okay, somebody may definitely be, um, we also got the Knight of Pentacles as your underlying injury clarification. So this can represent um, not moving forward with something, afraid to move forward with something, afraid to take action. I got to get my wand, y'all. Afraid to take action with something. Okay, so for the theme of the month, like I said, we got the four of, uh, of wands. This represents um, a happy home, life, contentment, peace, abundance. This all could represent planning something. This could represent stability within a um, relationship, within a home. But with this seven of swords, this could be someone being deceptive or the need to release some type of energy or release some type of um, mental or stagnant energy. Um, this can be a plethora of things. I kind of believe someone's being, because I pulled it twice, so I kind of believe someone's being deceptive um, about something this month. Okay, so this it, it definitely could be someone being very, very deceptive because in the first week, I got the Three of Cups with the Ace of Cups clarifying it. So this could represent a third-party situation, dealing with a third-party situation, you being out doing the third-party situation, finding new love or a resurgence of love or feeling some type of emotion um, with that. Um, this could also be... This could... <laughs> This could also be having fun, going out, having fun, feeling very um, loving within the first week. Just being, just having a general feel of love. This could be some increased um, in spirituality, just increased um, in, like spiritual growth. But I kind of think this is you having fun and just enjoying life. Within the second week, we got the Ten of Swords. I pulled this twice. Um, actually three times, but I pulled the six of swords. So this represents things looking up, moving from a difficult situation. This represents the end of a difficult situation, um, in regards to a team. So maybe this month you're deciding to end this third party situation or either, you know, remove yourself from this third party situation. Cause I got a three of pentacles. I got two threes with the ace of cups. So this is definitely a third party situation. Um, this could be you getting from this and expecting things to get better from uh, now through the situation, especially with knowing what's going on. You're really expecting things to get better after you leave this third party situation alone. The fourth week, we got the Ace of Swords. So this represents new ideas, um, seeing the truth of the situation. It's probably seeing the truth of the situation with the party that was in the third party situation. This is someone that you've known a long time, possibly even someone that you've known for a um, throughout your childhood, but it's just someone that you've known for a long time or have a soul connection with from a past life. <clears throat> In the fourth week, we got the ego card. So this represents um, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on negative things. This could also be um, 
negative or fear-based thoughts. So this represents like just feeling afraid to move forward with something, but you got the star card right here. Maybe you're afraid to let this situation go. Maybe you feel trapped in this situation, and this star card is like telling you it's okay. Like, it's okay to let this go. It's okay to remove all of this baggage. Let let this situation go because it's not serving you. It's causing a lot of mental strife, mental stress. Let that excess baggage go and actually move forward. So let's go ahead and pull some Goddess, Goddess Oracle cards. So we can see what messages we have for Aquarius. It's a short read, but you guys, I mean, the message is pretty clear. You got to let this third party situation go. For those of you, and this is a third party situation. I don't know if you're the one that's cheating or you're in a situation with someone cheating on you, but this is like, let it go. If you're fooling around, stop fooling around, let it go and move forward. Because I do see you not budging due to, I guess, fear. It is fear. It's fear of letting this situation go, but you, you got to let it go. It's the only way you're going to move past this um, stage right now. All right, so let me see. What advice do we have for Aquarius for November the 1st, 2017? Advice for Aquarius. First card we pulled is peace. It says, there is no need to worry. It's everything is working out beautifully. The second card we pulled was boundaries. It says, love yourself enough to say no to others' demand on your time and energy. Give me one more for Aquarius. November. We got bright future. Easy does it. Quiet time and sacred space. A lot of you guys need to reconnect um, with yourself, with your inner self, or either connect with your inner self so you can get some intuition and follow it um, in regards to whatever situation this is. We got easy does it too. It says there's no need to hurry or force things to happen as everything is occurring in perfect timing. Um, and then you got bright future. It says you got two of them. So literally you're straight. Like I said, this situation is causing a lot of stress. Stop stressing yourself out. It says stop worrying. Again, everything is going to be fine. So this is all I have for our, my um, Aquarius for November 2017. If you guys have any questions for me, hit me up on um, on my email, intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. That's all I got, babe. So until next time, y'all have a good night.